I'm pleased to be joined today on Health Beat by Dr. Aaron Braun, an interventional radiologist with Faith Regional Physician Services Interventional Radiology in Norfolk. And today we're talking about vertebroplasty and kyphoplasty, two similar types of spinal procedures. So Dr. Braun, tell us more about how these uh, work and how they can be used to help our patients out. As we get older, our bones tend to get softer. And when our bones get softer, they're more prone to break. On the spine, the spine translates all of your force in a vertical fashion, almost like building blocks, and those building blocks need to support all your weight. But when the bones become soft, that weight can result in a fracture. And it's not like a fracture in your arm where the bone breaks in half, but instead the spine just collapses on itself a little bit, and those produce a fracture. And those fracture fragments often move on each other just slightly every time you move, which produces a lot of pain. So to fix that, what we need to do is stabilize that fracture. And so what I do is a procedure called vertebroplasty. Under x-ray guidance, I place a small needle into the area of the fracture. And through that needle, I introduce glue, which spreads out along the fracture fragment and stabilizes them. And once that glue cures, it stabilizes the fracture and instantly takes a patient's pain away. Kyphoplasty is almost the exact same procedure, but when the spine collapses on itself, if it collapses too much, we do a kyphoplasty, and what that does is we put a balloon into the spine, inflate that balloon to restore the height, and then once the balloon's deflated, we fill that space in with the glue, which stabilizes the fracture fragments and almost instantly reduces patient's pain. To learn more about clinic locations, specialties, and providers, visit frpsclinics.org.